um, I'm going to, um, if I do it on the command line, like show uh, fake fonts, it will just uh, show me all the fonts and all the fake. So if I just uh, make this a screen bigger, and let me just uh, use an X term window here. So I'm going to do um, X term, clear my screen, clear. And then I say uh, X term minus uh, T for uh, string. And if the string is overwritten by whatever uh, path that is there, that's fine. I'm just gonna write something here and say um, um, bash scripting is fun. So I write that as a terminal and then I just say minus a foreground um, white minus a background. I'm going to call it um, dark green. That's what the color I like. And then I just say face uh, of font, font uh, A for uh, uh, face. And then I'm going to just use New York. I like that too. So, uh, and then um, just open it up. Um, and I'm going to maximize it. So this is, this is the screen that we have uh, for this. Um, notice that my uh, command was as soon as it opens, it already wrote the topic on, on it. But sometimes it doesn't. So if I just do an, another X term, uh, with uh, an example, like say, X term minus BG, uh, dark blue, minus foreground white. And then this time I'm gonna just say dash hold and then um, run a who command and then uh, do a ampersand. Uh, and then I need to put a minus E for um, expression, what the command I wanna execute. So that is uh, just uh, showing, as you can see, the title is showing for the title I put, and then the command is going to execute. And this is neat because you could do whatever command you do here. You could do um, a calendar command uh, for, uh, to make it bigger. And then here you could say minus um, white, and then right here minus font, um, uh, and then um, put the New York again to make it a little bit uh, bigger font. So I go that and execute that one. And instead of this one, I'm going to do calendar of 2020, the entire month. See, it looks nice uh, the way uh, it does this. And um, it is uh, today is uh, the 7th, uh, seven, so that one is selected and then uh, your command is showing calendar. Um, and if you just do a, a different thing, you could just say, uh, uh, let me just run and instead of this one say, um, give me the output of man uh, f printf statement, um, like a function that you're uh, doing it. So now you can see that it uses the printf function. The f, uh, printf is a function, it does uh, fs printf, as, uh, as printf, f printf, all of them are the same thing. And then the syntax is similar. So if you re, uh, make up this one bigger size, you can see that it is um, giving you options to do this one. If I type in h, I could go to the uh, help. And if I type q for quit, I could get back to that thing. And then uh, once I press uh, escape, uh, uh, like, if I terminate it here, um, or I could minimize it. So I, let me terminate it. And then this one comes back. But this one, if I'm just running it in the background, I don't need to just do like whatever command here I do, like ls minus l, my local directory, it will list it there. So you could, uh, you could make tools that are um, really nice once you're set, the, the requirement on this one is X term, uh, next clock and next session, all those uh, things in order to work, your uh, display has to be set. So uh, echo dollar sign display is the environment variable. Um, echo dollar sign display uh, is uh, just showing colon zero. If I say who am I, 
who am I? It, uh, sorry, who am I? Uh, clear the screen, who am I? So it shows that uh, I'm on this display and I'm uh, coming uh, on my local host. If I remotely SSH to a machine and I export, uh, do a X host uh, to, to allow the other remote site, I could do the same thing as long as I set my X display. Last time I remember on Solar's machine, um, the X clock was not working, I believe. Let me just uh, check on that one, X clock. Yeah, and this one is there. So if, if it is there, you could use it. On Solaris, if it is not there, the user um, DT, desktop manager, that one is um, uh, Solaris provided under uh, DT and directory. Uh, you have to do uh, DT config dash E for enable and make it available. Or you could uh, do um, uh, X11. X11 is also provided sometimes and the user open win uh, for open windows, uh, it provides it. So um, uh, let me just do X clock here. You can see that X clock is opening. Um, and then um, sometimes you have option for uh, doing a scientific calculation and uh, I mean X clock or um, no, sorry, digital or uh, standard, but if I was thinking of calculator. So if I do um, close this one and then do a man X clock, you could see the options that are there. And then uh, there's one of these options that you could say, and instead of digital, um, make it like uh, analog, C, and then digital. So you could do one of dash D for digital and then um, analog uh, is the default one. So X clock dash D would uh, make it digital like that. 